One of the key outcomes of a PhD is publication. They can become your tickets to the next position, be it a postdoc in a faculty or, or somewhere in R&D, or they can break your academic career if the quality of publications is low. So my advice is to read the advisor's publications from the last three to five years. Don't just scroll through. Make sure that you dig deep into them and you understand their scope, the scientific depth and the impact. Three things, scope, depth, impact. In my experience, many students do not quite read the papers of their potential advisor before joining the lab. But you know, those papers, they can tell you a lot of important information. For example, how often do PhD students become first authors? It's quite easy to check. How many papers does a PhD student publish on average in this group compared to the number of papers published by senior members? What are the individual contributions of PhD students? And so for this, uh, you want to check the contribution section. Did they play key roles in the studies? Did they get access to instruments that you wish to use yourself? Often those contribution sections, they contain the information about which author contributed which part of the data.